Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can complete the Snow Fox quest line. It's a pretty easy mission and the cool thing about it is you get two amazing items in my opinion. The first one has absolutely amazing passive, basically it can give you like infinite stamina when you get hit like, because you generate so much. And the other one I think is essential if you want to create a transformation build, this will increase your transformation duration. Just look at the stamina bar. I'm gonna deplete it and you can see how much I actually get back and this is just uh, just crazy. Alright, so I'm just gonna jump, lose a lot of stamina and think about how aggressive enemies are and they hit you quite a lot, look at that, look at that. Basically you can get like infinite stamina like that if you can continue fighting against bosses, you're never gonna exhaust it, of course if you get hit. Also I was missing there the red fox, you can see it in question mark. And once you complete this quest, uh, you're going to fill this uh, for the portraits for the character section. Alright, so all good. It's worth your time. Let me show you how to do that. We're going to travel to the New West, Valley of Ecstasy, and then Forest of Felicity. And once you uh, land there, you can see the gate already, there's a body on the right side. At this point, uh, I actually searched in the wrong direction, but you can see me going back. Uh, and we need to talk with this uh, NPC three times, all right? Basically just lying there. So I'm just, uh, I'm not going to cut it, because some of the people will strike, but basically I'm just going back. And we're going to need to talk with this body on the right side again three times. This will basically initiate a cutscene and you turn you into a wolf. And basically, we the goal is to get the wolf into a certain place where you're going to fight a boss. Keep in mind while I'm sharing this, uh, certain areas that I visit, I already eliminate some mini bosses, some enemies. So you won't see them here, but you might encounter them as we go. So I'm just telling you that ahead of time. I beg you, sir, to take my fur and wear my form. Come for me and calm my soulful heart. Now keep in mind if you engage with an enemy or enemy engages with you, you can just lose the form. However, this item is available for you in the inventory, so you can use it when not in combat to turn into a fox again. So you can see here in the inventory, I can always use it in order to transform into a fox. Alright, so from this point on, again, you can travel in any form you like but it's easier i think to just go with the fox and more fun and we need to go to the entrance keeper shrine if you already unlock this place this shrine you can just go there right turn to human form just uh interact with the shrine and then go there but i'm just going to show you how to get there uh by just you know following uh, the pathing that i'm going
All right, so after we've done that, now we're gonna go, uh, we don't need to travel, just follow the path to uh, fight the chief boss. Basically, uh, we need to be in the fox form in order to initiate uh, the fight. All right. Say, so, yeah, I'm reading about it, by the way, I didn't discover it myself. Uh, now going all over the things that I missed. All right, so let's go. Just follow the pathing path until we reach the boss. Keep in mind you can change to a fox form. Uh, some of the enemies are aggressive. I don't know for some reason I thought they're just going to be, uh, you know, not trigger. But you can try. I just did it in human form. But uh, you can decide. Maybe you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, it won't trigger the enemies. I just went in human form. And now we're going to go uh, left. All right, so now we are at the bridge. Uh, from the bridge, we're going to continue uh, basically straight on a bit to the left and then up the stairs. And this is where the boss is going to be. Now, if you go there in human form, basically you can talk to him, but it won't actually trigger the fight. All right, we can clear the enemy there, enemies. Now go back to the item and activate it and turn into a fox. And then when you get inside, you want to trigger the cutscene. Right, I'm going to cut the cutscene and they're going to show you the fight so you can see how it plays. Basically you can go invisible. I'm bringing here some uh, late game items. So I'm pretty ready for it. You can also avoid some attacks as you can see. Basically, my build, I have a stronger attack, the more I actually move. Uh, that's why you saw the huge damage. Alright, so first of all, this is for the spirit uh, only when you finish this boss. Alright, so make sure to wait uh, for it to end and collect the spirit. Alright, to get the next item, we need to actually head back to where we saw the body, where we first got the quest.
all right value of ecstasy and then there and then basically we're going to go there again and talk to the body and then you're going to get your curious item which is a great item so it's really worth doing this quest in my opinion and that's it thanks for watching everybody give a like if you find this one useful comment and subscribe i'll see you in the next guide cheers yeah.